The mission of Lake County School District is to provide every student with individual opportunities to excel. The district vision is a dynamic, progressive, and collaborative learning community embracing change and diversity where every student will graduate with the skills needed to succeed in post-secondary education and the workplace. The Florida Bright Future Scholarship Program establishes lottery-funded scholarships to reward Florida high school graduates for high academic achievement. Learn more about reading the Bright Future Student Handbook at www.floridastudentfinancialaid.org. The link will also be in the description of this video. There are four different levels of the Bright Futures Scholarship Program. First, the Florida Academic Scholars Award, or FAS, offers 100% tuition. The Florida Medallion Scholars Award offers 75% of tuition at a four-year university or 100% at a two-year college. The Florida Gold Seal Cape Scholars, the GSC, and the Florida Gold Seal Vocational Scholars, the GSV, are determined annually per credit hour. First, let's look into the FAS, the Florida Academic Scholars Award. Please take a moment to read this slide. Next is the Florida Medallion Scholars Award, or FMS. Please take a moment to review the information on this slide as well. Next is the Gold Seal Cape Scholars Award, or GSC. Please take a moment to review this slide and the next. Pause the video if needed. Finally, we have the Gold Seal Vocational Scholars Award, or GSV. Please take a few moments to review this slide and the next two. You may pause the video again if needed. Exams may be taken an unlimited number of times through June 30th of the student's graduation year or through January 31st for mid-year graduates. Exam types cannot be combined. A student must qualify based on each subtest score for a single exam type. Subtest scores from different test dates may be used to meet the test requirement. Students will be evaluated based on official test scores from the Florida Department of Education repository. To ensure OSFA obtains official test scores, First, ensure demographics on test registration and high school transcript match. And two, request official single setting test scores, not super score, be sent to one of Florida's 12 state universities when registering for the ACT or SAT, even if the student plans to attend an institution which is not a state university. Beginning with the 22-23 school year, service hours may include volunteer service or paid work hours. The hours must be documented in writing and signed by the student, a parent or guardian, and a representative of the organization. Hours cannot begin earlier than the summer after eighth grade and must be completed by high school graduation. What should ninth grade students do to qualify? First, keep up with coursework and establish a qualifying high school GPA. It's also helpful to get involved in your school and community. Seek out community service opportunities and submit your service hours to your school counselor. Finally, take the PSAT testing opportunities seriously. Next, what should 10th grade students do to qualify? First, continue to keep up with coursework and maintain a qualifying GPA. Continue to seek out community service opportunities. Submit your service hours. Focus on ACT and SAT test preparation strategies. Begin researching colleges. And begin planning for next year's courses with college and bright futures in mind. Have a conversation with your guidance counselor. What should 11th grade students do to qualify? Well, first, continue to keep up with coursework and maintain that GPA. And continue and submit your service hours to your school counselor. 
schedule meetings with college representatives, and ask questions about financial aid and Bright Futures. Then begin planning for next year's courses with college and Bright Futures in mind. Finally, take the ACT or SAT and send your scores to a Florida public university. Finally, what should 12th grade students do to qualify? Review your Bright Futures report. See your school counselor if there are any errors on your transcript. Take note of what is missing to qualify for each award. Take steps to improve your Bright Futures GPA if it is borderline. Submit any remaining service hours by winter break. Take or retake the ACT or SAT and send your scores to a Florida public university. And we cannot emphasize this enough. Apply, apply now, and do not wait to apply. Students do not have to be eligible for Bright Futures to apply. You can apply now and become eligible by graduation. You will not be eligible if you do not apply. Students must apply for the scholarship by submitting the Florida Financial Aid Application or the FFAA. The link here will be included in the description of this video. Applications open on October 1st. Applications close August 31st after high school graduation. In order to apply for state scholarship and grant programs, the student must first create a student account. Again, this link will be provided in the description of this video. Many of your questions can be answered in the Bright Futures Handbook. The handbook can be found at the link in the description below. If you have any further questions, please contact your child's school counselor for support. Thank you and good luck!